Today, I wanted to make a quick reference guide on the proper order in which you should make adjustments to your guitar when doing a setup. Now, before I get started, if you learn something at any point in this video or you enjoy yourself, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. It helps the channel grow and it helps me know to keep making content like this. So the method we're gonna use is called train. This system was shown to me by principal master builder, Ron Thorne. As far as the order of how to adjust things, train. Now it's important to note that we're going to make all the adjustments to this guitar in the sitting position. This is not a full setup. This is just how to make the guitar more playable and enjoyable for you. First, we're going to tune the guitar. This can be done with a floor tuner or a uh, clip-on tuner on your headstock. Once we tune the guitar, then we're going to adjust the relief. So how do we do that? Well, we would make an adjustment to the truss rod. How to tell if we need relief? Well, what you want to do is press down on the low E string first, press down with your first finger on the first fret, using your thumb on your right hand, put it on the last fret of the guitar, and then use your finger to tap on the 12th fret. If the string is laying on the fretboard, that means that the truss rod is too tight and we're gonna need some relief. That we would do by adjusting the truss rod by loosening it. In almost every case, it's going to be counterclockwise. If your action is still very high and you find yourself tapping down on the 12th fret and it's really, really noticeable that you have high action, this is the time where you'd wanna tighten the truss rod just to straighten out the neck to make sure that the action comes into play. Keep in mind that no matter whether or not it's too low or too high, is doesn't matter as long as it's not buzzing and it suits your ears and the way you play. Now it's time for A. Action is gonna be adjusted by your bridge. Whether you have a uh, Gibson or Fender style guitar or even an acoustic guitar, this is gonna be adjusted by lowering or raising the bridge. Now an acoustic, that's a different story. You would have to shim the bridge up or sand the bridge down. But on electric guitar, you're just gonna make a quick adjustment using either an Allen wrench or a flathead screwdriver. Now that you have the guitar playing a little better, you're going to realize that the intonation's a little out. And the intonation, if you don't know what that is, I'll put a link right here that shows you how to adjust that and why that's important. But more importantly, you would adjust it by turning the screws on the bridge either to move the saddles towards the nut or away from the nut. And again, there's a video reference for that if you don't know what intonation is. Now last, Ron says, in is for noodle, which is to play and enjoy it. But I'm gonna go ahead and change that to nut. This is a good time to inspect the, the nut on the guitar. I like to do it with my ring finger on my left hand. I push down on the third fret using my pointer finger to push down on the first fret. And what I wanna see is either no gap or just a very slight small gap. In other words, when you're pushing on the string, it's almost like immediately touches that fret. Now, if it touches the fret already when you push down on the third fret and you're getting no buzz and no issues with playing, it's fine. And if it sounds right and it's not buzzing and you have push a little bit, again, that's fine. But if you notice a gap between the first fret and your string, when you're pushing down on the third fret on all six strings, it means that the slots on the nut are not cut correctly and it might be something you wanna address by cutting the slots properly and letting those strings line up correctly. Just a quick note, you shouldn't make any adjustments to the nut unless you're sure the relief and the action is set correctly on the neck. The easy part about this is there's a couple ways that you can do setups, but this is a great system to remember. So if you do this and the guitar is still not playing the way you want, well, you just repeat the process. You would tune the guitar, adjust the relief, set the action, set the intonation, and then check the nut or just play again and make sure it's fine. Either way, just repeat this process. This is the order in which you can do setups. It's a fast, easy way. And again, I wanna thank Ron for giving us such a great acronym. It's a great way to remember the order in which you should make adjustments to your guitar. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for your time. Till the next time, know your gear.